Hello makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe, and today we're going to talk about the difference fan speed makes in print. Stick around. Welcome back makers. So last time I did an Anet A8 video, two things happened. One, I found what I felt to be the most, the best all-rounder fan duct, which was either the semicircular fan duct or the spaceship type fan duct. And the other thing was that I published a video that opened the floodgates to what possibly could be the most commented video I have ever done so far. <laughs> it was quite overwhelming. And actually, while it was quite a lot of, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that, you should have done that way. It actually gave me more ideas on what I can do on the channel. But the most prominent comment that kept coming up was that I should have done a benchmark, and that is print something without a fan on, just to see what it would be like. So it got me thinking, what differences does it make in terms of fan speeds from zero to 100 in 25% increments? and income these two models. Now I used the semicircular fan duct for all these experiments. I used Angus's or Maker's Muse uh, lattice cube and also the tolerance test because I felt they were good enough for this test, but I'm sure you guys will let me know if they're not. So first things first, I printed the lattice cube in its original size. The print quality actually came out quite good. The only problem with this was that there was quite a lot of stringing, which I felt like I could counteract with more retraction. Then I decided that this is going to take too long to actually print uh, six of these, so or five of these, and also five tolerance tests, so I decided to reduce them to 75%. The problem with reducing the lattice cube is that you have to factor in certain other things. So you have to decrease the extrusion multiplier because it's just more refined. So anyway, after about 16 different tries, I printed one with 100% fan speed. And it came out fairly good. Granted, it's not perfect. There's a slight bit of stringing and possibly a little bit of, under, uh, of over extrusion but I was actually quite happy with this and I felt that it's a very good benchmark to compare with. Once I did that, I went on to the 75%. This is when quality started deteriorating. Stringing started increasing and the quality of the uh, pillars on the lattice cube kind of showed a bit more extrusion, like over extrusion. So I kind of expected that quality will start going downwards the less fan speed there was. 50%. This was a surprise because 50% actually printed better than 75% because the stringing is much less. I want to point out that there's six millimeters of retraction on all of these just to remove stringing. And also the extrusion is not as bad as the one on the 75%. So that is, that is extremely surprising to me. Following that came the 25% and that's when it started going really bad <laughs> in terms of extrusion. It just, you, you can see blobs of filament absolutely everywhere on the pillars and at 0% and at 0% then it just goes all to hell basically. While you can still see some decent layer, there's just more blobs absolutely everywhere on the lattice cube. So 100% and 50% were pretty much on par. 100% was slightly better, but 50% was okay, was very close. After doing that, I decided, okay, what else can we test? And I decided to do tolerance tests. And Angus recently released his tolerance fidget spinner. <laughs> This basically calculates the tolerances of the printer. So differences in uh, space between the center of the, well, pillar inside and the walls around it. So it goes from 0 0.5 all the way to 0 0.05, I think, or something like that, or 0 0.1. So 
I printed this in 100%. The 100%, the 0.5 was absolutely free right off the bat. The 0.4 was also free. 0.3 was also very free. The 0.2 tolerance, I couldn't, I couldn't get it to move. I tried using the key that prints with it, but I ended up trying so hard to turn it that I cut my finger. So I gave up. So 0.3 was the maximum I could get with 100% fan speed. 75%, there actually wasn't much difference. 0.4 was also free right from the, um, from taking it off the bed, and so was 0.3. The only difference I could see between the two is that the 0.2 seems that it had printed a bit better, as in spacing, to the zero, uh, to the 100%. Um, so I felt that I think 0.25 with 100% flow, airflow, would actually be loose as well. Then we went on to the 50%. And this changed once again because the 0.4 was free, but the 0.3 was fused slightly and it took a bit of force to kind of get it off. So, and you can actually feel it grinding down a bit more than uh, the other two. So in terms of tolerances, the 50% actually worked much worse than it did with overhangs. 25%. The 0.5 is started to starting to feel a bit grindy in the center. And 0.4 was also free and also feeling a bit more grindy. 0.3 is feeling a bit more tight. As a matter of fact, it kind of stops turning here. So uh, obviously 0.2 did not happen. 0%. 0% fan speed. First of all, the print, the center pillar of the 0.5 millimeter is, it's, it feels like it's a bit warped and the plastic is not printed right and that's to be expected, especially when you have a top layer without a fan speed. 0.4 is kind of a bit more free than the one on the 25% and the 50%. However, the 0.3 is fused. So for tolerances, no fan speed is definitely not the way to go. And there it is, another shootout with fan ducts or just one fan duct. This was all printed in 3D prints PLA green. It was all printed at 195 degrees, all at 0.2 millimeter layer heights. And for the rest of the settings in terms of retraction, I will obviously everything was written down. And if not, I'll leave them in the video descriptions so you guys have an idea what I used to print. So what do you guys think? Should I have changed anything? I'm kind of getting scared of asking these questions. I'll get my head bitten off. So, um, but yeah, you guys are giving me the suggestions and I'm more than happy to oblige because this is actually a lot of fun for me because I learn as I go along. Maybe you would like me to do this again with different models. I use these two because this is, well, a torture test. At, it's The name is within itself. It's a torture test. So the fact that it even printed without any fan is already very, very impressive for the ANET. And tolerances are very, very important in printing anything, especially something that is functional. So I believe that I covered most of the things here in terms of over overhangs. Fair enough, there is no bridging, but there is stringing and yeah. And I think that worked out pretty well. But if there is anything else you guys want me to do, any other comparisons, anything, anything you have questions about, please let me know. And I promise you that I will try and work in it. In the meantime, that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Twitter, and also follow me on Twitch now because I will start streaming on Twitch as well. In the meantime, thank you very much. One last time, and as always, happy making, guys.